Today, civil and environmental consultants is going to collaborate with Westminster College students to provide a baseline ecological assessment of Lake Britain. The lake has changed dramatically over 27 years. The weeds that we're sur surveying for today didn't even exist in this lake in 1993. Um, and so to be able to do that kind of ongoing project is really exciting. Safe workplace practices are a cor corporate value for CEC employees. We strive to establish safe workplace conditions by using proactive measures and actions. Prior to conducting the survey, a safety meeting was held for all participants where we discussed basic canoe and kayak safety. We reviewed topics such as how to safely enter the canoes and actions that should be avoided while in the canoe. We also discussed our action plan in the event that a canoe would tip. All participants were required to wear a life jacket to help protect themselves and a face mask to help protect others. So we went out to multiple locations that were plotted using GPS and had a chart that we put together um, so we can get an idea of what invasives are in the lake. Once they got to this location, they would throw their rake out approximately five to 10 feet in front of their canoe. They would let it sink to the bottom. Reach the bottom, they would rapidly pull it back up to the surface. And along the way, the rake would capture any aquatic vegetation. Once it came to the surface, they would identify the plant species that they captured and they would give them a fullness value of one through three, with one being the least amount of coverage and three being the most amount of coverage. Another sampling method for shallower locations throughout the lake would be a rake that was attached to a pole where students would once again go up to a predetermined location, drop it straight into the water, twist it one time around, and pull it back up and assign coverage and fullness values. We're gonna use this water collecting bottle and get um, two different me measurements from each of the buoys out there that we picked before we came down today. And we'll get a surface level sample and then like a mid-level sample from here. We took water samples that will be analyzing the pH, the turbidity, the dissolved oxygen, um, a bunch of different parameters to know what's kind of going on in the lake. I was personally going around the lake taking water samples from the outflows. So like from the coming from the parking lots and from some basements of nearby houses. We had this telescopic tool with this jar on the bottom that we would dip into the water, scoop it up, and then we dump that into our water sampling bottles. So far they've just learned about in the classroom, but to actually apply it to a real project with implications for the college. They're very excited that they're gonna be able to go out and produce something that the college will be able to use to make decisions. So the goal is to give them um, experience and to give them skills. I thought it was awesome that we got to collaborate with people from a different, you know, from like outside of the campus. Um, I'm gonna be a high school bio teacher, so I think it's gonna be awesome to like share this experience with my students and say this is something you can do or like this is another career option for you. Um, or say, you know, don't be afraid to collaborate with other people. The opportunity to do multiple different um, areas of field work and this was a completely different one so I think working with the CAC was really interesting to me and could provide some opportunities and some insight for jobs and interviews in the future. Being a Westminster College alumni I feel that this was a great opportunity for students to get some real world experience especially in a field that they're interested in and it's great for me to be able to come back and give that teaching opportunity to future environmental science students.